today I'm gonna show you what is in my bag. This is the Mansour Gabriel uh, mini bucket bag. So it's not the mini mini bucket bag. There is one that is larger than this and there is one that is smaller than this. So this is kind of like the medium bag really. So this is the exact same size as the one that is back there. They are both just the regular vegetable leather with a raw interior. I will say though that the leather on this bag is much softer than the one on that one. This one feels a bit more, I don't know, smushy and malleable than the black version. So this is how I typically wear the bag. So as you guys can see, it's a long crossbody strap. So I typically will have it on my shoulder or sometimes crossbody, just depends on where I am. But I always just knot the drawstring together. So this bag, even though it is a little bit on the smaller spectrum, it fits quite a lot. Right off the top, I have my phone. I'm still rocking the iPhone 6 Plus, not the S version. Still really happy with this. It doesn't have force touch or anything fancy like that, but I'm still really happy with this phone, so I'm just gonna stick with it. So one of three pouches that I have in here is for my eyeglasses. This pouch is from Chapters. I just picked it up a few weeks ago, so it's definitely still in store and possibly even online. They had a couple of different ones. This one is just the one that I liked the best. I like the color of it and I like the cute little tassel. I keep my glasses in here because I do need my glasses if I'm driving. It's actually, I'm legally required to have glasses on if I'm driving a vehicle. So I have them. These ones are from Chanel. I always get questions about what um, the style is and I got these two years ago so I don't even think they're available but I will put the style number below in case perhaps they are. But I just really like them. They are a tor tortoise shell finish and um, I just like them. They're simple and uh, I like the big frame. This pouch is very dirty. I actually just got this um, a few months ago and it's already dirty. Um, it's just the material. It's because it is that plastic um, transparent material. It just tends to show a lot of scuffs and marks and dirt. But this is from H&M. So I liked it because it was transparent so I can see exactly what's inside. And also I like the uh, copper rose gold uh, trim. So this is where I keep my camera. Um, this is a camera I got while I was in Japan, so it's the uh, Canon G7X. I use this for vlogging and also for just taking photos of whatever. This has a great video quality and also photo quality, so I just like to bring it and it's fairly portable. It's a bit heavier than my last digital camera, but I like to have this on me. I also like to keep an extra battery with me because you never know when you're gonna need that. And I also have a hair elastic in here. So without those two pouches, you can see um, it freed up a lot of space in here. I also have this little pouch for change. This is a change or a coin purse from Furla. And um, the Bose parents actually picked this up for me while they were in Italy, along with a matching crossbody, which I have behind me here. Um, in here, I keep change uh, when you never know when you're going to need it for parking or something like that. I also have some mini Tweezerman tweezers because... It's always handy to have tweezers. I also have one of these um, convertible screwdrivers that goes on a keychain. I actually have no idea where this came from, but there's a Phillips on one side and then a flat, um, a flat one on the other side. The last big pouch in here is from Sephora. I mentioned this before, but this is from the Makeups to Breakups. Uh, collection over the holidays. I just really like it. It holds a lot of stuff. I have so many random things in here. It's crazy. Sunglasses because I can't have one. I have to have two. So they're both from Ray-Ban. Of course I have to have a lightning cable because you know you never know when you're gonna run out of battery. I carry floss around with me. This is just the Johnson & Johnson mint wax floss. It's quite a big container. I'm sure there is a lot more travel friendly flosses out there, but this is just my floss of preference. And uh, I just like to carry floss with me in case you need it. You never know when you have something between your teeth. I have some hair accessories. So I have this giant clip for when I'm just putting my hair up and out of the way. Some more hair ties. These are my favorite, the ones that kind of look like telephone cords. So I have so many of these behind me and uh, I go through maybe 50 of these a year just because I always, 
always lose them. And this guy I actually just picked up a few days ago. This is from H&M. It's one of those um, just old school hair clips. So it clamps together. It's just a brushed gold finish. And uh, I like it. I like putting my hair kind of half up with this clip in. It just looks really nice. Of course, I am hoarding lip products in my bag. So I have three lipsticks, one lip primer, one lip gloss, and one lip balm. This is the insurance for my car. I don't know why it's in here and not in my car, but good to know. Um, this is garbage now. This was a kind of a gift card. It wasn't really a gift card, but it was a promo Holtz was having a few weeks back that if you spent $300, you could get $100 off. And uh, I went a couple of times to try to spend this, but no luck, I couldn't find anything to spend this on. There's just nothing I really wanted, and nothing that caught my eye, and the things that I did want, they didn't have in my size or they were out of stock. This promo has expired, so I'm gonna toss this. I always have pens on me because you never know when you're going to need one, and I also don't like using other people's pens or pens in public areas, so I just like to use my own pen. Two fragrances, one is the um, Guerlain Little Black Dress, and then the other is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. These two are very different fragrances, but I love them both. The last few random things in this pouch, one is painkillers. They're not really painkillers. They are um, acetaminophen because you never know when you're gonna get a headache or something. Hand cream because my hands get quite dry, so I need that. A compact mirror. So this is from Chanel, and uh, I got this maybe five, six years ago now, I don't remember, quite a while ago. And it's totally broken, I dropped it a couple of times and uh, the hinge is on its last leg. So I need to pick up a new one, but now they're $45. When I picked this up, it was $30. So it's kind of pricey for a compact mirror. I might just get a cheapy one, I don't know. Blotting sheets are a must for me because I have a very oily T-zone. So I just like to have them on hand in case I get extra shiny throughout the day. And this is one that I picked up while I was in Japan. Last few things I have in here. Normally, these products would be sitting at the top of my bag because all of these pouches, they leave sort of a, a base <laughs> at the bottom of the bag so these could just sit on top. But because I pulled everything out one by one, these just fell to the bottom. I have my card holder. I need to get a either a new card holder or a new wallet. I want a compact wallet. Um, so the wallet I have right now is a continental wallet and it's just too big for my lifestyle. So I want uh, a more compact one. So I would sell for a card case, but as you can see, I have a lot of random things in here and maybe I should just carry less. Maybe it's just a sign for me to carry less, but I like to have these cards on me. So I'm thinking of just getting maybe a more of a compact wallet, like a zippy one, but I haven't found one that I really liked yet, but I am on the hunt. So. Here I have my health card, my driver's license. Um, I bank with Tangerine, which used to be ING Direct. So I have my debit card and also my MasterCard from them. I have my Costco membership card and also a Costco MasterCard. My VIB Rouge card, of course I have to have that. Esso, this is a car wash gift card. The Beau got this as a group one deal or something, so he gave me one. I think he got two $50 ones. Keys, this is the least I've ever had on a keychain ever. Normally I have um, a clay and another key fob and um, you know maybe a poop. So this is the, the most simple keychain key situation that I've had in a really long time. So car key, two work keys, house key, mail key, that kind of boring stuff. And then lastly, I have a TTC day pass because I went downtown and want to get um, tokens. So I just got a day pass. And that is what is inside the Mansoor Gabrielle bucket bag. Um, I like this bag. Again, it's a bottomless pit. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video where I will hopefully be wearing a different outfit. <laughs>